Is the state congress working on new plans after the exit of 12 MLAs, including former Chief Minister Mukul Sangma? In a first, the five Congress MLAs in the Hill State called on Chief Minister Conrad Sangma this evening and extended their support to the government as far as delivering benefits to people is concerned. Amprin Lindog, after the closed door meeting, said that the Congress Legislature Party will not hesitate in partnering with the government when it comes to doing something productive for the people. Amprin Lindog also took pot shots at the 12 MLAs who deserted the party only to join TMC and said that the drama of a breakaway group has to end. Let me tell you one thing. This drama of the breakaway group has to come to a sudden death at some point of time. Don't keep fueling it. It doesn't make sense to fuel something which is destructive in its own self. The nature of the move away in itself was very destructive. We, 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 we feel very defeated. We feel very, uh, we feel, let me tell you very clearly, we feel very betrayed. If there was this necessity to dialogue with Congress from the very beginning, there are other methods of doing it. The TMC and the Congress were supposed to be a united opposition to fight an onslaught that is attacking secularism, that is attack, attacking individuality, that is attacking uh, local uh, identities. But today we see that the sudden ambition is blinding them. Instead of unanimously fighting a common enemy, they have made enemies amongst ourselves. So we are saying that we are no longer anybody's enemy, we are no longer anybody's uh, anybody's, uh, uh, you know, uh, slave, but we are someone who have a mind, we are someone who can look forward, and for things that are going to be productive for the public in general, we shall not hesitate to be partnering with the government. Meanwhile, Amperin Lindor said that it is time to rise above the political concerns and focus the attention on what is the best interest what is of best interest to the public. Well, Lindock said that CLP has also extended its dedicated support to Chief Minister Conrad Sangma on several aspects pertaining to governance. This move will help in bringing certain issues to the notice of the government that have been left in the back burner, said Amperin Lindor. Should now raise above our own concerns politically, but now focus our attention on what is it that would be to the best interest of the public. We have offered the Honorable Chief Minister our dedicated support on several aspects of governance which need our attention. Few issues that we are willing to partner with the government would be number one, the discussion on a probable or maybe no reoccurrence of COVID. So we would like now to get into a different plane of governance where we feel that supporting the government, partnering with the government on agendas which are going to be productive for the people in general is something that is going to be far more productive than always presenting a hostile uh, disconnect with the government of the day. The Congress today is going to be more positive in its approach and we have decided, all five of us, that we will be able to now bring immediate attention to certain issues which we think have been left on the back burner because of this entire long duration of the pandemic well, the CLP leader informed that technicalities pertaining to the absence of an unanimous opposition in the Assembly in the current situation was also discussed in the meeting. The CLP will also be meeting Speaker Medbal Lindo to discuss the same soon. We also discussed a few things regarding uh, the technicalities of the recognition of certain 
uh, posts in the Legislative Assembly with the Honourable Chief Minister because in the current situation, there seems to be no opposition that is unanimous, united, no opposition that has sat together, selected, elected leaders of the opposition. So we are of the impression now that we will also try to seek an appointment with the Honourable Speaker of the Legislative Assembly to once again review the opposition as it was. All of these have to be taken into consideration because you cannot just presume that a divided opposition will be able to function efficiently in the given situation. All these uh, you know, areas of confusion have to be have to be understood. So we will be meeting with these queries with the honourable speaker. At the moment, the honourable speaker seems to be engaged, firstly in the serving of notices to those who have deserted the Indian National Congress and gone and and and, and partnered with another party. So likely, we will meet the honourable speaker sometime soon after New Year of 2022.